Hi there, my name is Culture Singing and welcome to the long awaited All Star Weekend. This is the first All Star Weekend in Marble League history. And they would love to make their fans proud. Everybody who's competing today, the fans who are here today, the athletes who are just watching from wherever they want to because they're sad, or even, did you know? But today, some marbles are hiding. We'll give you clues. First up, there are two metal marbles. One is like an average size metal marble, and one of them is a small metal marble. The next one are the cat size. One of them is a regular size cat size, and one of them is a small cat size. Then there are the coarse marbles. One of them looks like a, I don't know, like a mini Team Galactic, if you saw Event 8, the mini one. And then there's a big one with some purple gems almost on it, and it's oh, kind of off-white. Last but not least are the plastics. One of them is a yellow one, and one of them is a blue one. None of these we will actually point out. None of them are the light show marbles, and this is just for fun. But if you can find any, let us know, because that's what All Star Weekend's about. It's about having fun and for the teams winning. Speaking of which, let's get to the teams. Going in order of how they were drafted or if they were captains. They are right by the fans. There's a scooter in between them just in case if they uh, have a fight, you know, but just in case. We have Team Dash, Captain Dash, Shore, Smoggy, and Minty Freeve versus Team Mimo, Captain Mimo, Lightning, Thunder, and Cerulean. And now, before we get to the game, the events, to see who wins. You must recite the Pledge of Allegiance because the person I hired turns out they don't really know how to sing and they don't know the words to Pledge of Allegiance to the National Anthem. We welcome United Supreme! <laughs> you may remember him after winning our Independence Day Marble Race Tournament. Now, put your head on your heart and let's recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, for liberty and justice for all. And now let's begin. Let's head on over to our first event. Event one will be an event that, well, there was a similar concept shown in the trailer, but once again through the hazers. So uh, whatever you see may not be true, because here it's a long jump after this funnel. It's a green little piece and then the yellow splitter. You are headed on over to the softball toss. If you hit land in here, you'll be shooting underhand. But if you do not land in the orange basket, you'll be shooting overhand. And we'll see which line the marbles take. Our two teams are ready to go. In the news report, who does the filmer think will win this event? Well, you know, I really do think Team Mima will win. A good answer. I actually believe the same thing, but only just. I feel that they have the teamwork on their side with Lightning and Thunder, and they do have Thunder who won the silver, the highest in the event of a long jump. That could open the softball toss. And the also team is on their way. <laughs> Going up first, we're talking about the same thing. Also, we're going to be sitting over here in a good long here. We have some team of uh, Dash and Team Evo. And now, oh, not a good jump. Who did not shoot well? Ah, oh, Lightning is eliminated. The Marvel who leads the league in points will not be moving on in the first event. But it is only the first event, so no need to worry. And now, the second race will be underway. It is sure out of the start. The lead belongs to Nemo. He can choose to jump and throw his ball. Over the way, it doesn't have a bunch. The worst jump is Thunder. Dash, and sure will pass him. Then comes Dash, and Thunder is out. Things are not looking good for Team Nemo or either of the Thunderbolts. Our six remaining contestants 
are about to go underway. The question is, can Team Mimo fight back? It's meant to fight. Up to gate. First, first of all, Bob Jack goes to his teammate Josh. So we're going to need to last to start to set Josh to be the team too. Dash, and Mimo goes far enough. So Rulings could go very far. Wow! What a jump by Sperling. You'll also see one of the events we will also do. Well, last place, the first one that will be eliminated on Team Dash heading upstairs will be Dash himself, the captain of his own team is out. Race four, it's right to go. The team will continue to good work with the pudding. In. The hero himself will be going up first. Four, five. So far, the pressure goes to Smoggy. What will Shorty will not be out to Smoggy is eliminated. We'll be trying out a new camera angle as the last four are ready to go. See, this is even so far, there's two being eliminated from each side. It'll be Smoggy up first for Team Mimo. Well, this is one piece of story. Pretty good effort, I'd say. I don't think he's going to get eliminated, but Mimo is in a little bit of trouble. Oh, never mind. Minty Flight doesn't do well, so Minty Flight is out getting the lead to Team Mimo. We're down to three. This is the first three coach of Marshall Marvel in history, but who will get bronze? And who still has a chance to get the gold? Shorts has to fight hard as an effort to keep his team alive. But otherwise, it's the first team to do. He's just going under him. Wow! Great run by Cerulean! But in the meantime, Short does pass Mimo, so Mimo is out. And now the finals. You will win the softball toss. How far can you throw? And how far can you go? It will be short to make this look at first. William has several, made several good jumps and oh, not a good jump by Short. His run rebound? No! Almost an upset, but Short has won the first event ever in Marble League All-Star Weekend. First event in Marble League All-Star History certainly did not disappoint. As we head to event two, which will reveal after the nope recap of event one of All-Star Weekend, the softball toss. Though it was a very new event, certainly some showed a lot of skill at this event, including our winner, Shore from Team Dash, and that gave Team Dash a three point lead in the standings against Team Mimo, Mimo 30 to 27. The filmer, who is on the left here, said that Team Mimo would win. Let's see the filmer's reaction. I'm surprised that Team Mimo did not win, but this time around, I'm going for Team Dash due to their skill. I see, so not namesake. And now, what is this next event? It is the only farthest winds on the carpet sprint. You sprint as fast as you can, but the breeze all around will catch you at one point. But how far can you go before they catch you? How far can you make it down this obstacle filled? Well, there appears to be no obstacles, but there's a breeze on the obstacles. You just sprint as far as you can. And we're ready to go, it's the first race. Heat number one has Cerulean and Lightning from Team Mimo and Short Minty Flay from Team Dash. They're ready to go in three, two, one, now. A tough one, but two Team Mimos are out in front. Now the first one will be advancing to the final, and the first one is Lightning, so Lightning has a spot. And at the second run, who will be joining him? No one from Team Dash, it will be Cerulean. Pursuing strong to chance to the final. And our other view of the first round has Thunder of Team Mimo and Smoggy of Team Dash, as well as the Captain's Mimo of Team Mimo and Dash of Team Dash. They'll be ready to go with this new camera view in 3, 2, 1, now! Thunder lost a lot of speed, and why Thunder's gonna be Dash, Dash, Smoggy is into the final. Now, one more round to see who goes to the final. Dash pursues on through, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Dash gets it over Thunder and Mimo, but Dash is advancing to the final. 
our fifth through eighth place runners are Thunder of Team Mimo, Minty Flav and Short of Team Dash, and Mimo, obviously, of Team Mimo. One round for fifth place. And five points is going to be Mimo, followed by Shore, and then Minty Flav and Thunder. And those are not so great results. But Mimo has grabbed fifth place. We're into the final. One will be eliminated each round until we have our champion. We have Team Dash's Dash and Smoggy versus Team Mimo's Asunder and Cerulean. Who will take match one? Dash is out and Smoggy has taken it. matchup. Smoggy will once again take it. Who is eliminated? S Lightning is eliminated. Just barely had a cerulean but behind him in the end. And there are two finalists. Or once again one team email and one dash. Cerulean remains in life for the nomination of getting gold for team Nemo. But Smoggy could come through and take it. Can is really gonna get a silver or a gold? Because Cerulean's doing well on this All Star weekend. But where will event two leave Cerulean compared to everybody else? Cerulean will grab the gold, meaning that Team Mimo has won the event. Well, one of them has won the event. But based off the point differentials, it will be good enough. Estimating, we'll see at the notebook recap. Let's take a look at some of the fans. You can see the Hazer fans. A little bit happy that Smoggy was able to grab the silver. Ocean fans are happy that Shore got gold, but they hope that maybe that he could do better. Uh, Minty Maniac fans. Just a little bit sad about Minty Flavor's performance, but thus far, Cerulean fans are Cobalt fans. They're almost spoiled. He has two medals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But they're pretty good. Uh, team Dash. Well, Dash just led his team to second place and only two points off of first. From, I mean, this scenario thus far. And Team Momo. See, I mean, I, could, I think they could have maybe done a little bit better. But Mimo has led his team to the, uh, well, number one spot. So you can't com really complain if you want to complain. And Thunderbolt fans have two members on their team that are on Team Mimo. And Team Mimo has gotten the victory. So they're pretty happy. That's checking on the fans. All around, even if uh, even the tower, but like uh, nobody's in the tower, the Hazer Tower. Went under construction and changed it look to that. It still looks pretty cool. And now let's find out who lives in the mystery house you guys saw in the trailer, or maybe heard it from somewhere else. And now this mysterious house, you finally figure out who belongs to. Look closely. Team Galactic, the Junior Team Galactic. Uh, they were able to get this training center and house for themselves after they won a Junior League event. We do not have any footage of the Junior League events because the referee who does it works at night and it's a uh, night. Priorities. Nap time comes first. <laughs> yeah, but um, they have got this training center to try to beat the Savage Speeders in the championship. I mean, I'll see who they... Um, who it is, but so far we're putting a decent fight after the last event. They used the funding that they got to get this training center to train. I'll be working with Starry today. Basically we have the top floor, which is the sleeping center. It's also is a place, well, to sleep and to get used to the conditions of the outdoors in your home. It's more of an outside home. So I'm gonna go here, you have two choices. Let's see which one Starry's gonna go to. Okay, that's the porch. And this porch then has that. Yeah, to boost the marbles or boost. Now, I'll get Pulsar up here to see the pool. We spend a lot of time here to calm themselves down to train for events. We have some workout machines here and here. This floor is smooth, but this floor has the breeze in it. We train here all day long. And that's it for the half break. This is Team Galactic Training Center and House.
let's head to the notebook recap of event two, the carpeting journeys. She will a unit of the Nemo took the win after getting silver last time, and so now he got silver. And on the last um, event of the All-Star Weekend, we thought that Team Nemo had tw um, 27 points, but they only have 25. However, here, Team Nemo went up to 31, and Team Dash only got 24. And that means that Team Nemo is on top by two points. And we'll see you after halftime. But wait, what's the filmer's reaction to being wrong this time as well as last time? I don't know, really. I actually thought Team Dash would take it. But no, Team Momo pursued and they won. Well, a decent explanation and we'll see what you do after the half. After a well-deserved halftime break for both the athletes and for everyone else like me, I like breaks. We're back for event three, the sprint. An all-star weekend, the first and fun. We have our two teams battling it out in separate heats. Let's see who's in heat one. We have Shorn Minty Flav of Team Dash, as well as Lightning and Captain Mimo of Team Mimo. And then in our second heat, we have Cerulean and Dunder of Team Mimo, and Smoggy and Captain Dash of Team Dash. This sprint was going to be featured in the marbling, but the filmer wasn't here to film it. But now that the filmer is here, we are ready to go down the sprint course. A very uh, a fan favorite object, and one of my personal favorites as well. So Borg makes its third appearance in this video. You head down the wood as fast as you can, trying to beat out your assets in, in the hopes you get a transfer spot. I guess that's the point at the end of the day. But now the assets are ready to race. The first race is underway. The team was a good stuff and will keep it to the finish for his team. We're racing one more time and the winner gets a transfer spot. He played this time when he gave it start to finish. It did not lightning. And now race one of our second points. The dash got a great start. It will be so really the dash does pick up second in the end. And now one more time, he will race. Spock takes it, dash! A tight one, but Smoggy does get it in the squeaker. Our fifth or ace matchup. The bottom one will be eliminated in every match. We have Sunder and Shore. Lightning and Dash. The right to go. Three, two, one, and go. It's going to be some of them again, but sure gets last. Now race two at the bottom half. Dash and Lightning dueling. Lightning will be out, if you're not mistaken, yes. But Lightning actually won this event, but here not so much. So the battle for fifths. Ooh, Sydney is a much better start with the fifths. Great to keep Dash and Roma. Last one eliminated in the first matchup of the final. Nemo cannot do it. And now for our top three, the three podiumers, but one will only manage bronze. Still good points, but he did not ever be in the spot from the start. Didn't look great. Could not recover. And now we're down to two. And these two were the first two to get the top two at the Hazer Dome this season. Cerulean and Minty Flav. But now, still on opposing teams, they fight for the gold in the first ever Ulster weekend. Who will win? Ooh, that's very close. But the judge is saying that it was Minty Flav. Flav does it and not making the story repeat. We're ready for event four, our first the notebook recap of event three. The sprint, three and a half meters, he measured. And in those three and a half meters, the most successful marble was Minty Flav, getting his revenge on Cerulean and picking up 15 points for his team. So we're going to continue his strong form, but as you head down, it wasn't enough. They got Team Mimo got outscored by Team Dash by just three points. And by one point, Team Dash has it. And two, the final event. Which is the survival rally. Changed up a little bit. First of all, we changed the angle of how you go in to the first 
funnel, it's a mini funnel, the yellow mini funnel. And now, let's take a look at our course. You start off in the yellow mini funnel, but this time starting from the right side of your left, you head down to your four Ubelino funnels, as hard as always, actually harder. For you jump into that funnel, and then your red golf funnel, your plinko, your blue golf funnel, your orange, and then the last part of the course has changed up a little bit. The orange golf funnel goes a little bit faster now, and everything has become a much more steep. A jump into the plinko before the new super jump. Five different lines you can take, or six, you can just like fall off on the walls that are not even fully defined. That's what the Menio Survival Rally is, and you must work as a team. So let's get to the race. First race is ready to go, and the last one is out. We're off. Is it ready to go before Sunder is off? And everybody has to um, clear a funnel, just that top funnel, because it's a transition to the park. Then you're allowed to get back on and let you go successfully. His team is going to stumble. The leader is Dash, you see. Oh my goodness, wait, wow. You look strong, but it's not just something you well do while up top. The dash holds the lead. It's in a sunshine bubble almost. The lights there are very nice. And of course, tough for the moisture. The dash will only has it. Down the front door, you can jump here. Dash is through. Nemo is stuck. You know what Trouble got caught up up top. And now Thunder is stuck. Trouble avoided. And now Nemo made up farther than Thunder, so Thunder is out. But either way, one from Team Nemo would be headed home. And it will be Thunder, but Nemo did not finish either. We're ready to go. Race number two. Ooh, Dash. I have to be sure to put the funnel. It makes it clean that time. Actually, passing because his teammates were not doing so well. It made a short out in front. But then the next one are uh, Team Nemo, not himself. Sloppy is someone who could be told last week. He came back last time, but he came in with good. Nemo passes short out in front. But she really tries to get in on the action maybe a little bit. Nemo holding the lead. Oh, is Nemo gonna finish? Yes. We have two finishers. We have just three. And Dash for the cross the four. And then Smog does make that comeback. But now Minty Flame is having a lot of trouble. And Flame is out. The last event winner will not be moved. The third matchup. Sorui is currently out in front. Well, everybody looking through the funnel this time. Oh, I can see Smoggy going to struggle since that first funnel, and he is again. Okay. It's just sad for him. Got Cerulean and Nemo holding from out in front this far. Okay, all three of Team Nemo's left are on front of the next three Team Dash. They're desperately trying to win this event. Now, they're not down by that much in standards, so winning this event clinches them the title. The way that the coin system works, if I'm not mistaken. So if you just could win this, you've got this event. You want to really are staying tied up front, trying to stay together. Really, they will end up taking the win, but both of them have crossed. However, uh, Lightning has fallen down to fifth, as Smoggy is taking third. And this is a good late race by Smoggy. Actually, is he going to cross? Yes, and eliminated there. I have to see it. It's a blur of blue marbles, and it is dash out. Captain Team Dash is out, but Team Dash needs to rebound. Everybody should be down. But Smoggy is definitely doing his part. And your last is good fun because it's all starting to So some rules lifted. That one has definitely been lifted. Lightning in second place. And then Shore. Lightning actually challenging Smoggy. Smoggy for once though did get off to a good start. Maybe he struggles enough for a settle, but this time a good use of it. In the back is first Nemo and Cerulean, the top two from last time. But dominating this race, and definitely is going to be moving on off this scenario, is Lightning. Here's a final stretch. Now, Shore's taken away from Smoggy, 
I was only supposed to finish in a tiny manner with the R2, so right now, me for sin, and I have to worry about elimination, and me for will, and it comes down to this. It's so really a Mimo. Mimo actually may be eliminated. It's been quick, but it's too little and too late. Mimo is out, evening up the series. We put the full arm gold starter. See how to do. Smarty assumes the lead thus far and holds on to it. Not before Cerulean has something to say about it, though. And meanwhile, Shore has fallen to last. Shore did win event one, but has been quiet ever since then, including the last place in the last event. He lightly battling me out hard. He put just Cerulean down on accident, probably, though. He just has to try to stay ahead of Lightning. Smart because of a great lead, though. But Lightning has something to say about Shore and takes third place away. And now Shore's into last. That could hurt his team's chances, you know. Smoggy is just well out in front, going to cross. Some uh, lightning. It's gotten well ahead now. Well, well ahead. And really has stopped. Okay, let's see. If Shore can't dislodge him. Okay, referee's saying that there's a... Uh, that he will yes it up the that, will, that the referee will dislodge him. They agreed to do that. Julian and lightning. Are you sure? Anybody catch each other? No, sure. Accidentally knocks down part of the track. That won't do any wonders. Meeting Sat the series is very close. And your next move could decide. Now we're down three. We're close off the start. Don't be wasting any time. Smoggy immediately cutting into Swing. Lightning gets the seat. Lightning gets the jump ball by Smoggy. So she really wants to try to catch Smoggy. Smoggy won the last race convincingly, however, but that doesn't mean the words are off. I mean, just because he won the last race, doesn't mean he's going this way. But he takes the lead ahead of Lightning now and trying to hold on to it. That's for sure. And then she comes to Cerulean. Cerulean tries to make a move on Lightning, his own teammate. Uh, Cerulean has scored a bunch of points throughout this entire All Star game and actually tries to close it on Lightning to help eliminate Cerulean. But Cerulean doesn't like that idea. Snacks right in this, uh, um, Smoggy did not like the idea. Then blocks early. Now, hmm. Then now we set the course. He said that the only we set for a final. But she just gets Smoggy stay ahead. And yes, Smoggy will eliminate Cerulean. And now the course will be reset. But we're into the championship match. And not just anyone. The first ever All-Star game. This is it, championship match. Whoever wins this could have the last impression for their teams. And we're off. Lightning. Smoggy tries to push that back up to Lightning. It's too far back, though. So. Lightning was able to stretch it right there. And Smoggy had a look. Lightning just ran away with it by a lot. Just all lightning. Lightning is running away with this matchup. But lightning is stuck. Meaning that Smoggy has a look now. Can Smoggy close that gap up to lightning? Can Smoggy take it away from lightning potentially? Across! Smoggy gets it at the line! A buzzer beater! In the fourth quarter. But we'll have to tally up the points though to see if that helps Team Dash. But buzzer beater in the end by Smoggy took ahead, uh, took advantage just off of Lightning's flaws and takes the win of event four. Wow! I hope you guys saw that because I'm just excited. It's time for a notebook recap of event four survival rally. Smoggy of Team Dash took the win fall by Lightning Cerulean, Mimo Dash, Minty Flav, and Sunder. And Team Mimo outscored Team Dash by one point, meaning that for the first time in in four quarters, the, team, that the filmer made the correct prediction. But wait, 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 hold up. These two teams are tied. They'll sell this in a free-for-all tiebreaker. The rules will go as follows. All eight of them will race at once. The top four move on to the next round, which is the final round. The first place in that round will get five points. Second place will get three points. Third place will get two points. And last place will get one point. And they are off. 
Ooh, take battles of both. As we can see, Dash up is up there. This lightning Dash actually has the lead. So by lightning. And Smoggy. And Thunder, who I have not really seen much of during this entire All-Star game. Uh, that's not really... But she hasn't been stuck great. Hey, someone's stuck? No, 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 it's just true. Lightning fall by Dash. And then there's Thunder. Thunder versus Dash. The Lightning versus Dash. Thunder took Suri. And Lightning. Dash. Thunder. Most likely. And Smoggy are making play that will stay with Smoggy. Also, we may will be so brilliant. Let's get the most amount of points done. Other racers will make their way down. Ooh, and sure got stuck. But you have your four. So our final race features two from each team, meaning that this cannot end in a tie. It will not end in a tie. We have Smoggy and Dash, a team Dash, and Lightning and Thunder, the two Thunderbolts from team Mimo. It comes down to this. Who will win the All-Star game? Right now, it's looking like it's gonna be team Mimo versus team Dash. It's gonna make their charges. Team Bolts love to make their charge because they're so good. I digress. I'm going to do that. The team Mimo struggling a little bit now. As Lightning and Thunder can knock it off that final well. Now putting them closer back. Lightning now tries to approach Dash. Potentially, and maybe even Smoggy. Actually makes it go at Smoggy for the lead. That could mean something. No. You do close up some of gaps though. And now you make a move on Smoggy. No, they're still chasing ahead of Dash. They do not get caught through that sector. Oh no, they do get caught. And with that final block of a play, Team Dash will win the All-Star game. Either uh, Thunder will not be finishing. Lightning could at least say that he finished, but what a block in the end by Dash to secure the victory for Team Dash, who will win the first ever All-Star game. Here we are, the podium ceremony and the closing ceremony of All-Star weekend. You have everything set up. So let's go based off of first individual points. Eighth place was Sender of Team Mimo with 10 points. And in seventh place was actually Captain Dash with 19 points. Sixth place was Shore of Team Dash with 24 points. Fifth place was Minty Flav with 26 points. One point ahead of both of our third places, they tied, they're not the same team, so no tiebreaker can be done. Lightning and Mimo. Second place, Smoggy of Team Dash, with 47 points, but your winner with 49 points is Cerulean of Team Mimo. But, so winning team. Now, I'm gonna scoot over to join here. So everybody, the winning team gets to go up there. And your winning team was Team Dash. They won the first ever All-Star Weekend. Congratulate them for our second place and our first place. And we're only separated by five points, but 128 to 123, Team Dash has won the first All-Star Weekend game in Marble League history. But now, for your All-Star Game MVP, the winner is Smoggy of the Hazers, who gets to go down this new trophy track. If you want to know what he did, he had 47 points. He was on the winning team. Got two goals, including a key one in overtime and a key one in regulation. And a silver. He made key moves in overtime to clinch the victory for his team. If he had only gotten silver in regulation, Team Mimo would have been the champion and history would have been rewritten. But now the spotlight goes on him, rightfully so. But it's not over yet. We have our fans here. Taser fans absolutely thrilled with Smog's performance. 
Oceanic fans are happy with Shore. Thunderbolt fans at least got third with Lightning. And some in both of their team made it to, well, the fight to overtime. Minty Maniac fans are happy at the moment because Minty Flave won a gold and his team won it all. Turtle Slider fans also were ones to win a gold. Mimo fans are proud of his team coming just five points um, by, uh, behind Shore, but still, I'd say it was a good result today. It was worse coming if you are a Team Mimo fan. And last, but definitely not the least, a good result today, even though they didn't win the Cobalts. Because to really did score the most points, but his team didn't win and he didn't make overtime. He tried super hard. And now for the hidden marbles. There is the first one. As we head then to here. This was a super hard one, so don't feel bad if you don't get it. But that's where a little metal is. Then there is plastic. What is that? There is the other plastic for we're looking along. I know it's tough, but here we have said here, there are big cat's eye and there. That's a really tough one. I don't know if you can see, but there's little cat's eye. And that is where little course was hiding.